Hello and welcome to another video about my shiny, I mean, about uh, <laughs> programming with a Nintendo microcontroller. Uh, this little guy here that plugs into my computer and also plugs into the Switch and pretends to be a wired controller. Um, I've talked about this a few times on the channel, uh, but basically uh, here's a better view of it. This is before I realized I could simplify it quite a bit by removing some of the jumper wires, but anyway. The idea behind this is I can send commands from my computer and the Nintendo Switch will interpret them as buttons being pressed. I can then read the screen using a capture card and basically play the game using Python and computer vision, etc. cetera. Uh, and I wanted to talk you through my most recent project using this, which is to catalog my shiny Pokemon. Uh, prior to now, I use a manual spreadsheet where I keep track of all of the Pokemon that I have and the various forms, etc. cetera. Um, but as you can imagine, doing lots of data, manual data entry into a spreadsheet, it's got some inaccuracies over the years. Uh, and so what I wanted to do is take all of my Pokemon that are currently in Pokemon Home and uh, figure out what I have. <laughs> I also wanted this as some sort of backup. It's not really a true backup because if I were to lose access to Pokemon Home, they would all be gone, but at least I'll have some record of, of having them at some point. Uh, and so what I decided to do is write a little bit of scripts <clears throat> using this microcontroller to basically screen grab everything in Pokemon Home. Um, I basically split this into a two-part script, one that just takes all the screenshots and then another that processes them. The reason I did this is because the processing is pretty error prone and I'll show you a bunch of the edge cases that I ran into while making this. Uh, but it was just easier to split them up like that. Even with that, I still had to do some special state management to make sure that I'm cataloging these in a way that makes sense. Uh, and there was some, <laughs> there are some weirdnesses that I'll show you later about why this wasn't so straightforward and easy. I also want to talk you through a few of the cool things that I did with the image recognition part of this so that I could extract the data and eventually put it into a SQL database. Uh, and then we'll play around with some SQL queries that uh, show you some cool stuff with it. Uh, but first, I want to show you some of the problems that I ran into. Uh, and actually, we're going to start with my most recent Shiny, which actually isn't a problem, but is more the normal case. Uh, home screenshots, and I have the numbers over here. Uh, so normally what you'll see, and yes, Jirachi is the most recent Shiny Pokemon that I got. Um, the normal uh, summaries that you'll see in Pokemon Home looks sort of like this. This is kind of the base screen that you'll see with its stats, where it came from, et cetera, et cetera. Now the dates are all fake, but uh, that's dates are <laughs> dates. Are dates. Uh, and each Pokemon in the normal state will have three summary screens. Uh, I've only taken screenshots of the first and the third. The first is the stats screen. There's also one that shows the like effort values and other stuff. And then there's this one, which shows the IV ratings, the individual values. Uh, and so you can see here that, uh, you know, it has a fantastic defense and surely something based on this hex plot could be figured out whether the numbers between zero and 31. I didn't actually go that far in my processing because I, <laughs> I don't care about the IVs, but I could at some point care about them and, and fill them out like that. And so this is what you'll see for kind of the normal state. Uh, in the normal state, the blue text for the region is always right here, which is nice and easy to parse and everything else is in a consistent spot. So the level is always here, the number is always there, the name is always there, these stats are always in the same position, the language is always in the same spot, nature, ability, held item, etc. I don't know why there's held item. I don't think there's held items in home. Uh, but basically everything is in the same consistent spot. So I can just basically crop the image to this little piece and run OCR to figure those out. Except this isn't always in the same spot, and the ability is not always there, and we don't always have multiple summary screens. And so let me show you some of the problems that I ran into. Um, the first one we're going to look at is one where the text is in a weird place. Uh, 0509. Um, so you'll see here that the blue text is actually in a slightly different spot. It's moved up and it's moved over. And there's two lines of text here uh, because it has to say the good old days because it came from virtual console. Uh, and so I basically have to figure out where in this box this blue text is. And I did some creative uh, scripting for that. If we look at our catalog data, this is where I actually do the data extraction. We look for a region function here. 
Uh, basically what I do is I find the blue pixels inside of our uh, box here, because it could really, I mean, I didn't know specifically, there's actually only like three places it can be. Uh, but I basically look inside this box here and I'm looking for blue pixels. Once I have the blue pixels, I can draw a rectangle around them. And once I have that rectangle, I can find the text inside of it using my uh, OCR engine. Now, sometimes the text looks like this, the Johto region, uh, but there are a few cases that don't quite look like that. Uh, one of those is Pokemon Go, which, uh, or not, yeah, Pokemon Go, yeah, this one. Uh, Pokemon Go, which doesn't say the Pokemon Go region, it just, just says Pokemon Go. It'd be kind of nice if it would have shown you like the actual location information, but I don't actually know that that's stored. Um, so that's one of the weird ones where it had a different text here. Another one that had weird text was Pokemon that came all the way from Colosseum. So for instance, this Procona that came from Colosseum. It just says a distant land. And so I had to add some you know, special cases to handle that. Uh, some other weird things happened with the script in that Pokemon from BDSP, uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, Shining? Oh, that's the wrong number. Am I off by one? Uh, <laughs> why is it not that one? Is it 1098? Dang it. Uh, why don't I have the number for this one right? Well, we can use my database to find the actual one that I'm looking for here. So if we do select star from Pokemon, actually, let me show you the, the schema of my database first. Schema of Pokemon. Uh, basically keep track of all of the ID species, all of this stuff. I should probably add a, a Boolean for alpha. I forgot about that, but we're gonna show one that's alpha in a second. Oh wait, oh yes, we are. Um, but I can basically find out all of the information that I've scraped from the screen there. And if we do select star from Pokemon where icon equals BDSP, this will get us our two Pokemon that come brilliant, uh, 1188. That's why I had it wrong. 1188. Okay, so BDSP is a little bit weird in that it actually has four pages of stuff here. So this is the normal first page. This is the name, normal third page, but it also has this condition page, and this is pretty different. So my script had to handle flipping through the pages properly to make sure that it you know, could actually get the IVs from uh, the the god himself, Arceus, here. Um, one other issue that I ran into is that there were some missing panels. For instance, Pokemon from Legends Arceus don't have an IVs page. They don't have any extra pages. It's just this base page, which shows their default uh, effort levels, I think they're called, as well as their stats. Uh, but I also you know, didn't handle... Uh, moves or alpha icon or all the other things like that. So that was some of the other stuff that came from this. But given all this data, I can make some pretty interesting queries. Uh, here's just a few that I tried uh, before recording. Uh, so for instance, if I want to find the most common Pokemon that I have shiny, I already know what it is. It's 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 your boy Dunsparce. Um, but I can do this, select count one, group by species, Order by count one descending, limit, let's say our top 10. Uh, no such table Pokemon. Oh, dang it. I forgot to actually select our database. Let me copy paste our query here. And you'll see that uh, Pokemon 206, which if we go to uh, 206.shtml, it's your boy Dunsparce. Uh, I think the next one is Morgrim. I remember correctly, 924. No, it's Tandem House. Of course it's Tandem House. Yes. Okay, the next one after that should be a no. Uh, oh, well, that didn't work. 201 should be in Johto. Anyway, you can see that, uh, oh, okay. Oh, right, because Johto got, <laughs> the decks got deleted. All right, let's go back a few generations to where Unknown actually exists. Yeah, there we go. Um, but basically, I can figure out like the most common Pokemon. Uh, one interesting query that I found was gender. Pokemon group by gender. Uh, and one is male, two is female, and three is uh, unspecified, as the Pokemon games list it. And it's interesting to me, and I kind of know why, uh, that my shiny Pokemon lean towards male gender. And this is just because Pokemon in general tends to make female Pokemon a little bit more rare. A little bit weird, uh, but one one thing that I noticed here. 
Uh, we can also see what are the most common regions that they come from. Um, I'm actually going to put icon and region here. Uh, the icon tells me which game series it came from. And so like if it's Johto and Virtual Console, it came from the gold and silver Virtual Console on the 3DS. But if it's Johto without an icon, then I know it came from heart, gold, soul, silver. Uh, group by icon region, order by count one descending. Um, and we can see that I've gotten more shiny Pokemon in Paldea than any other generation. Um, some of my rare ones are Pokemon Go, BDSP, Coliseum, uh, plain olds. Um, this is probably Fire Red Leaf Green. Yeah, it has to be Fire Red Leaf Green. Uh, this came from Let's Go. We got some Heart Gold Soul Silver, um, fifth gen <laughs> way back here. Uh, and you can see that I played a lot of Legends Arceus. Uh, but anyway, this is kind of some cool data that I was able to compile, all because I could you know, flip through Pokemon pretty quickly and take screenshots and then write a little bit of uh, computer vision to extract the data from this and have a pretty cool data set. Um, and of course, you're probably wondering, select count one from Pokemon. So you can get the current count today of uh, 2,028 of them. But anyway, hopefully you found this uh, interesting and I'll see you in the next one.